good morning. Most complicated coffee ever. I don't know. I'm just feeling like a vlog today. Also, maybe there's some shit that I would like to talk about. I was thinking last night, um, reading some comments on my last video. But let me finish my coffee first. I've decided we're going roller skating this morning. Oh no. <laughs> there was mice. It's still fine, right? I don't know. <laughs> it's not a mouse in it. Ugh. I'm scared to put my hand in there. They can't quite see all the way to the toe. But I feel like nothing's in there. Oh, do I stick my foot in? So I bought roller skates for me and Luke a couple of years ago. Totally random, saw people doing it on TikTok or something. And I came up this street, and I just came up. And then going back down, it's not that big of a hill, but I fell down the whole dang street. <laughs> so I've never touched them since. And then last weekend, my entire family went to this roller skating rink that opened up. <laughs> And I did pretty good. So, it was flat and smooth, but it has inspired me <sighs> to get back on my skates. Okay, here's the big hill. <laughs> Let's see if I can get down it without falling. Basically, you just have to go down the hill on one foot. <laughs> Almost there. I know it looks fucking flat, but it's... My neighbors are probably like, the fuck is wrong with this girl? Pretty proud of myself. Okay, so what did I want to talk to you guys about today? Because the roller skating was irrelevant. It's just beautiful out today. It's spring. My battery's dying. <laughs> Anyways, okay. First of all, my last video, if you didn't watch it, don't worry about it, but it was about 10 years sober, and also I had a little 
um, incident where I took a sip of alcohol on accident and I was going through it. So many really sweet, nice comments. And I just want to thank everybody that, you know, said something supportive or related to me in some way. Yeah, I was overwhelmed by all of the nice comments and I haven't replied to any because there's just a lot and I didn't want to reply to some and not all and I was overwhelmed and anyway, this is me replying to you guys. Thank you <laughs> for that. That being said, there were a couple of not nice comments about me being a drama queen and just looking for attention or people that did not understand at all why I was like so <laughs> emotional which yeah I kind of figured that might happen so it is what it is I know that not everyone is gonna relate to me oh my god what am I trying to say I guess it just inspired me to want to talk a little bit about the problem I have with social media, not problem, the dilemma <laughs> with social media. There's a lot of layers to this, right? But first of all, you've got the toxic positivity. Well, I don't know if toxic positivity is the right term, but like where everybody's showing, you know, their highlight reel of their life and all the good things that happen. And that's great. Love to see people win. But from one person's standpoint, looking at everyone's highlight reels, that can do something to your mental health. Like, just thinking, all of these people are living their best life, and maybe you're not doing enough, or cool enough things, or whatever. And so, I feel like on social media, it's important to me to show <laughs> reality, too. <laughs> you know, definitely highlights and wins, but also struggles. And that's not something that comes very naturally. I've been sharing on social media for more than five years, Instagram for way longer than that. And um, it's natural to just want to post like the good stuff, right? When you're extremely emotional or upset about something, the last thing you want to do is get out the camera and stick it in your own face and then show that to the world. Um, so it's taken a lot of practice and I'm still working on that. So when thinking about my 10 year sobriety video, I wanted to post something like really positive and inspiring, like 10 things I love about being sober in 10 years. I don't freaking know. Um, I hadn't got that far yet, but the reality of the situation is I was going through this thing which to some people maybe seem stupid, but um, for me it was a big freaking deal. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. The video was partially helping me process the situation and accept the situation. I don't wanna keep dwelling on this, but then the other side of it is also just trying to show, you know, real life shit. So, there's that. The other thing I would like to say is I think that I talked a bit in the video about being worried about what other people think. And I just want to elaborate on that a little bit. Especially as a teenager, but into my, you know, adult years too, I think I always had that like rebellious vibe of like, I don't give a fuck what people think. I do what I want. <laughs> And although that's kind of still true, it's also like a spectrum, you know what I mean? Certain things you don't give a shit, other things you do. Miss Piggy, this is really <laughs> not the time. I'm trying to have a serious conversation. Um, but yeah, so I think when people were watching that video, they're trying to understand or relate to what I was going through and couldn't possibly understand why I would care so much about what some people think about me accidentally having a sip of alcohol and I get that but maybe a lot of these people can't relate to the fact that I put a lot of my life on social media by choice I enjoy doing it <laughs> but 
even in my professional life, like I do dreadlocks and that comes with a ton of controversy. And I just feel like everything I put out there is constantly being judged and critiqued and nitpicked, especially in today's world. Like, sometimes it feels like you can't fucking say anything. <laughs> no matter what you say, someone's gonna have a problem with it. And so years of being constantly critiqued in that way, I guess has made me like think more before I post about like what people's reactions might be. Because I feel like that's first of all the responsible thing to do in a lot of situations. Um, but also, I'm the one that's going to have to deal with the consequences of that, of what I choose to put online. So, what am I trying to say? Yeah, I guess I had like a situation a month ago or whatever on Instagram where someone didn't like, you know, the terminology that I used about something. And there was like this whole freaking drama uproar about it. But it was on something like so little. Ah. <sighs> And so, yeah, years of dealing with that has made me more conscious, I guess, about what people might think about me. And so this stupid thing about taking an accidental sip was already like a big fucking deal to me. But then I guess in the back of my mind, I was also concerned with would, would people think I'm a fraud? <laughs> <laughs> for saying that I'm 10 years sober when I literally just had a sip of alcohol <laughs> on accident. Yeah, and I guess I shouldn't really give a shit. I feel like, okay, okay, here's what I'm trying to say. For the most part, I think that if I am, or this goes for anybody that shares their life, if you are really strong in your sense of self and secure and you know you have like a really solid internal compass about your belief system your values whatever then you can share whatever and people even if they disagree or have some shit to say you can let that bounce off easily because you're so your stance is so strong that whatever you can just let other people's stupid opinions <laughs> exist <laughs> so I think where like usually that's how I feel like I feel so strong about where I'm at that I don't really give a shit what other people have to say <laughs> but with this I wasn't there yet with this situation I was processing it still and wasn't even 100% sure how I felt about it yet so that made me like in a weak position I guess to put it out there for people to potentially judge and critique <sighs> I'm rambling let's take a break <laughs> let's go grocery shopping I work at home, so sometimes it's nice to just... Ah. Girl, you driving? It's pie day, you know, like three point one four. I got us a pie. view right now okay so 
I watched back that clip from earlier where I was just babbling on and I don't know if anybody understood what I was trying to say but I don't care I guess anymore that was just me it's just been me processing the situation and analyzing it and learning from it and now we move on so I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm just gonna do some work stuff for the rest of the day but yeah I'll leave you with this what will I leave you with? Everyone just chill the fuck out. Be nice to each other, to strangers online. I think everybody genuinely is just doing their best. So, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>